Have you ever had a brilliant idea in the most unexpected place? More than 2,000 years ago, a man named Archimedes, one of the greatest minds of ancient Greece, was said to have done exactly that. Archimedes lived in the city of Syracuse. He was admired not only for solving puzzles, but also for his deep studies of shapes, numbers, and motion. His clever ideas in geometry and mechanics made him a trusted advisor. So when the king of Syracuse had a puzzle too tricky for anyone else, he turned to Archimedes. The king had commissioned a crown of pure gold, but when he received it, something seemed odd. Gold is unusually heavy for its size, and the king, who often handled coins and bars of gold, felt that the crown looked a little too bulky for how heavy it was. Was the goldsmith honest, or had he secretly mixed in cheaper silver? The challenge, test the crown's material without damaging it. According to a later story written by the Roman author Vitruvius, the idea struck Archimedes while stepping into a bath. He saw the water level rise as his body sank down. That meant the amount of water pushed aside matched the space, or volume, his body took up. And here was the key. If you know how much something weighs, and how much space it takes up, you can judge how packed its matter is. Gold is much more tightly packed than silver, so a crown of pure gold and one mixed with silver might weigh the same but the silver one would occupy more space. The legend says Archimedes leapt out of the bath and ran through the streets shouting, Eureka! Eureka, Greek for I found it. Whether or not he truly ran naked, the discovery itself was worth celebrating. Archimedes compared the king's crown with a lump of pure gold of equal weight. If both displaced the same volume of water, the crown was pure. If the crown displaced more, its material was less dense. Proof that cheaper silver had been mixed in. Today we can put numbers to it. Gold's density approximately 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Silver's density approximately 10.5 grams per cubic centimeter. But here's the subtlety. The difference in water displaced is small and nearly impossible to judge just by looking. Historians think Archimedes may have used a hydrostatic balance, a careful weighing in air and in water to make the test practical. From ideas like this, Archimedes went further. In his treatise on floating bodies, he set down a general law. Anything dipped in water feels lighter because the water pushes it up with a force equal to the weight of the water it pushes aside. This principle explains why ships float, why balloons rise, and why submarines dive. The crown story may be legend, but the principle itself is real science. So next time you take a bath, watch the water carefully. Behind that simple ripple lies one of the most elegant ideas in science, the link between weight, volume, and the upward push of water, first noticed and then proven by Archimedes.